friends how are you doing today i think you must be doing great and this is parvez choudhury again warmly welcome to all of you on this learning platform global studies aspirants fine and as you can see on your computer screen friends today we are going to discuss about the english grammar and english grammar will talk about verb and types fine okay so don't make any kind of delay let's get into the topic just a moment let's go forward and here the definition and the meaning the first of all let's look on the definition and meaning of the verb fine and here right from this line that a verb is a word which indicates which express the action position or state of being and can also act as a noun or an adjective fine it can act both as an adjective or as a noun fine for example here like you can take some examples friends here like he reads newspaper here uh, it indicates the action like reads is a playing a role of verb here and the second one i have i have your pen so it indicates the position like uh, i have that it means i have your pen so it indicates the position fine i hope you must be getting and here the next one uh, once there was there was a king fine there was a king and it indicates a uh, state of being fine and likewise walking and walking is a good exercise and it indicates here the noun fine i hope you must be getting and uh, the same here he wants to play fine he wants to play and here uh, once again is uh, showing a noun right here the play is showing a noun fine and the same here i saw a funny actor fine a funny funny is indicating an adjective fine so i hope you must be getting the whole concept students let's move forward here let's talk about the types of verb fine and as you can see on your computer screen friends like on the object on the behalf of object requirement fine there are two types of verb like the like the first one is intransitive and the second one is transitive let's first of all let's talk about the intransitive verb and it is a type of verb which does not need any object like for example you can uh, get it clear that uh, it doesn't need any kind of object to make a complete sentence or to make a sense fine for instance andy is working fine so here the regularly we can say regularly that andy is working here here in sentence in this sentence there is a lack of object fine and in the same way they are playing so here uh, there is no object fine and the birds are sitting fine so here in this kind of sentence there is there are no objects fine i hope you must be getting and let's talk about the transitive verb and in case of transitive verb it needs the object to make clear sentence to make a sense fine for instance he took break he took breakfast and uh, took played a role of verb and in the same way he made a table fine he made a table and i love cricket fine so here you can see breakfast table and cricket in bold letters it's showing that there are the objects fine they are the object and let's talk about some more points here the sometimes a transitive verb sometimes a transitive takes complements to make proper sense for example asoka was a great king asoka was a great king fine and in the same way he made me the chairman of the society fine he made me the chairman of the society fine <coughs> so guys i hope you must be getting let's move forward here a uh, transitive verb make a uh, transitive verb may take two objects fine at once like for instance he gave me a pen if you look at this sentence friends then you will find the two objects over here me and pen fine so here we can say like he gave me a pen uh, here uh, you can see like a transitive verb may take two objects here the transitive verb taking two objects in a single sentence fine i hope you must be getting friends let's move forward like here 
And if you talk about on the structural basis, verb is divided into the following parts. Like, first of all, let's talk about the main verb. Here, in these kind of sentences, we generally use only one verb. Fine. For example, uh, if I say, like, I know you, right? And the calf caught the thief. Fine. And in these two kind of sentence, like, uh, we talk about the main verb, right? Here, we are talking about the main verb, like, I know you and the calf caught the thief. So here, no and caught, these are the main verb. Fine, I hope you must be getting. Let's move forward and let's talk about the auxiliary verb. Fine, in case of auxiliary verb, it helps the main verb to express the activities and it is generally two types. Fine, the, the first one, primary auxiliary, like uh, you can see at the screen, friends, like each, am, are, was, were, has, have, had do does and did these all are the primary auxiliary fine and in case of model auxiliary if you talk about the model auxiliary that you can include can could may might must should auto will sell would dare need and used to fine and let's talk about further uh, here the causative verb in, the, in case of causative verb, it includes get and make that cause the action to take place. Fine. For example, he made me happy. Like we can say simply, he made me, he made me happy. That he was the reason making me happy. Fine. So we can say like it, we, he made me happy. He got his share to be built by John. Fine. He's going to get his home built by John or he got his chair to be built by John. Fine. So in this case, in this kind of sentences, uh, here we can use the causative verb fine so here this made and got are playing a role of causative verb i hope you must be getting the students list forward and in the last of this uh, short lecture let's uh, uh, let's talk about the we are talking about the types of verb and here if we talk about on the behalf of uh, you know use then it can be divided into two parts Fine. The first one is regular verb and the second one is irregular verb. Fine. Let's do, first of all, let's talk about the regular verb. Fine. If a verb is ended with ed, you know, you must, uh, you must have observed friends uh, in the last of the word, uh, verb, then you will find uh, two later. Generally, the word is going to end with ed, right? If in case it's going to end with ad then it is called a regular verb fine like for example you can see over here then developed and reached and restricted fine and in these examples just notice one thing in the end of the word there are two letters like ed ed and ed fine so i hope you must be getting and now let's talk about the irregular verb fine those verbs which do not end with ad sound fine and they generally ends with different words like they are called finally they are called irregular verbs fine you can call them irregular verbs for example like by bought bought fine like by bought and bought fine and the same way do did done so here uh, we didn't get uh, the ed sound right fine so i hope the uh, students friends you must have enjoyed this little lecture and again i sincerely appeal to all of you this please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you'll be getting all the essential notifications instantly on your phone or computer fine and you guys are the really true source of our energy our motivations are fine so keep watching and thank you for watching this video thank you for tuning in I'll see you next time. Till then, bye. Thank you so much.